Multitasking is a myth, and you've probably heard that. Your brain isn't wired to multitask, and trying can turn you into the cognitive equivalent of an eight-year-old. But there is one form of what I would call multitasking that's actually great for your brain. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Hi, I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com, the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. If you've been diagnosed with MCI, you've been told that there are all sorts of things you should be doing to protect your brain. Whatever you're doing, I want to show you how you can multiply the effect to get a greater benefit and give yourself the best possible chance of slowing the decline of your mind. Here's how. Let's start with the simple list of things that promote brain health and reduce the risk of dementia. I'm guessing that these are all things you already know. So one thing I've done that I find helpful is I've created this simple grid. And when I'm considering how I spend my time and what I'm doing to protect my brain, I write the activity down and then I see how many boxes it checks for me. So let's take two examples of how that works. First, I've got the newspaper here open to the comics and puzzles and I'm going to do a Sudoku. But before I start, let's see what boxes I'm checking off here. People think, okay, I can check off mental stimulation. It's brain exercise. Unfortunately, that's not the case. To get the cognitive benefit you're looking for, you need to try new things, learn something new. These kinds of puzzles, crosswords, or Sudoku don't do that. As any neurologist will tell you, if you play these games, you only get better at the game. It doesn't extend to some larger cognitive benefit. But let's go back to the grid and see what other boxes I might be able to check off. I'm sitting here alone and sedentary. As I look down the list, there really isn't a single box I can check here. But now let's look at another example. Last summer, I wanted to try to learn a little bit about nature photography. So I did a little research, talked to some photographers, and then went to the Leonard J. Buck Garden here in New Jersey and joined a group on a guided tour. The docent took us on a 45 minute walk around the garden, educating us on all the different flowers and plants and giving us plenty of time to take these photos. When I look at the photos I took, they're not great. They're okay. But when I look at my checklist, I actually fared pretty well. I challenged my mind. I learned something new, both about photography as well as a good deal about plant and nature that I didn't know before. It definitely got my body moving. We walked for a good 45 minutes. It was social because I did it with my wife and with some other people. It certainly exposed me to the outdoors. Now, it didn't include any healthy food or drink, but overall, it was a great day and I probably did my brain a lot of good in the process. Uh, of course, not every activity has to check every box. It's just really a way to think about what you're doing to get a little more enjoyment and a little bit more benefit. If you find this helpful, I've put my checklist into a simple two-page tip sheet. The first page is the checklist, and the second page is a weekly planner where you can track the healthy activities you're engaging in and maybe increase that a little over time. This checklist and weekly planner are absolutely free when you sign up for my weekly email newsletter, which is also free. If you want them, email me at Tony Daring 
at gocogno.com and I'll be glad to send them to you. As we wrap up today, I have one final suggestion for you. Add one more box to the checklist, this one. If you can't check this box, if it isn't something you enjoy, then ask yourself, why am I doing this? Because I guarantee you, whatever benefit you're trying to get, there's almost always a way to do it that you'll actually enjoy. So find that way and have some fun. I leave you with that parting thought, but I look forward to seeing you again next week. And until then, as always, be kind to your mind.